This is Jesse McClement with your News in 90 for Friday, August 2nd. A long-standing nuclear arms deal treaty between the U.S. and Russia has officially come to an end. In the wake of the treaty's dissipation, both the U.S. and Russia are pointing fingers, saying the other is to blame for ending the treaty. In a statement announcing the U.S.'s withdrawal from the treaty, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Russia is solely responsible for the treaty's demise because they failed to be fully compliant. Now that they've officially withdrawn, the U.S. says they've developed a new missile with the sole intent of challenging Russia. The missile is expected to be tested within the next few weeks. The trade war between the U.S. and China continues to escalate with no end in sight. China says it's ready for a fight following the U.S.'s decision to place a 10 percent tariff on imported goods from the country. Although China has publicly announced that they plan to take necessary countermeasures against the U.S., many speculate that China has very few retaliation options. The reason China may not have many countermeasures to take is that they sell much more to the U.S. than they buy. Specifically, China only has $120 billion worth of goods to target with tariffs of their own. Universal is bringing Florida a new theme park and thousands of new job opportunities along with it. Construction has already begun on the new park, which has been dubbed Epic Universe. The new park is opening the door to 14,000 new jobs in the Orlando area. Although the theme park is officially in the works of becoming a reality, not much information has been released. Universal Park CEO Tom Williams says more details will be released over time. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.